Texas, Paranoid from server 802, and I wanted to go over the Kaish Wheel of Fortune event. This is a new event for most servers. I think some of the newer servers already have this event or had it, uh, but for most of the servers in Ebony, this is a new event. Um, and let's go over it. It's a pretty good event as far as the value of the rewards you get. So first let's talk about the lucky coins that you need in order to spin. You need 10 lucky coins to spin once and you can buy them in the shop and you can earn them by killing monsters. So first of all, by killing monsters, you're going to be limited to earning 200 lucky coins per day by killing monsters. As soon as you reach the 200 lucky coins, you're going to get capped and, and the monsters aren't going to drop any more lucky coins. It's not something that Evany noted anywhere in the event, but you are limited to 200 lucky coins, which is 20 spins basically. The drop rate of the lucky coins from what I could tell for monsters is for regular monsters, even if it's like level 20 barbarians and so on. Uh, or the or the knights, it's gonna be about one out of every eight monsters or so is gonna drop five lucky coins. That's the drop rate. For boss monsters, it's gonna be about one out of two or three boss monsters is gonna drop five lucky coins. And Vikings also drop lucky coins. I can't remember the exact rate of drop for, for Vikings. It might be one out of three or one out of four. I can't remember exactly. Um, so you, you can kill monsters and drop these. Obviously, uh, the generals that you have that are farming monsters, Fedora or Bybars, are going to have a high drop, a uh, double chance to drop, a uh, high rate of double drop chance. So instead of getting five lucky coins, hopefully you'll get ten lucky coins. I wish everyone would only get the, the double drop rate, so you get uh, ten lucky coins instead of five, so you can achieve the goal faster. But if you're if you're joining about 20 30 rallies a day or or just killing uh 50 50 regular monsters and joining a few rallies then you're gonna reach your limit of the 200 lucky coins and you're gonna be able to do 20 free spins each day basically and the other way to to do this is to buy packs of lucky coins and you can buy 10 packs of lucky coins, each pack costs 1,000 gems, and it has 10 lucky coins. So to keep it simple, you can buy a free spin for 1,000 gems. And I have a lot of extra gems, so I don't mind buying it. And I go to items, special, and I just go here and buy 10 spins for 10,000 gems. Is it worthwhile? Uh, each spin costs 1,000 gems and the value that Ebony has on these rewards is going to be valued at more than 1,000 gems. So I'm going to evaluate these items by the price they cost in the black market. I don't think the price that they have uh, in the shop is really reasonable. Five, five million uh, resources for 6,000 gems. It's not a reasonable price, and uh, even for uh, refining stones, I don't know if they have it. 200 refining, one refining stone for 200 gems, it's also not a reasonable price. Even in the black market, the refining stones are valued at 150 gems for one refining stone. It's not a reasonable price, but I'll try to evaluate these, uh, these rewards by a more reasonable price. So. 5 million resources are valued at the black market at about 2,400 gems. There, it's probably actually worth less because even at 2,400 gems, it's not worth buying resources. But you can win these here in the event by spending 1,000 gems for a spin and winning uh, 5 million resources. And I think the refining stones, a more valid valuation for them is about 30 gems, which is the how you can buy them at the patrol but Ebony values it currently at 150 gems per refining stone it's not reasonable that this is valued 100 stones are valued at 15,000 gems and 20 stones are, are valued at uh, I don't know uh, uh, 3,000 gems I don't think it's reasonable but 
uh, 100 stones for 1000 gems is definitely a good price in my opinion but uh, same for the speed ups seven day construction speed up is going to cost at the shop about 10,000 gems and the three day speed up is going to cost about 4,800 gems and you can win them here by spinning once and it, the spin is going to cost 1,000 gems uh, the advanced uh, March speed up costs 1000 gems and you're paying 1000 gems. So basically every time you spin, if you pay 1000 gems for it, it's going to be worthwhile because you're going to get items that are worth more than 1000 gems. As far as the valuation of the Plantagenet scroll fragments, in my valuation, they're probably worth about 20,000 gems or so. So if you win, this is the big uh, win, but obviously it's a lot harder to get the plant engine scroll fragments by spinning the wheel. Um, an important thing to note here is the chest uh, near the spinning progress down at the bottom. The chest you have here rewards and you get the good rewards if you manage to spin 500 times. It's gonna be hard if you're not buying packs and spending gems on uh, spinning but this is the important rewards if you get 500 uh, spins then you're gonna win a total of 15 Plantagen boot scroll fragments and 15 Plantagen leg scroll armor fragments. To, to complete the scroll and craft the item, you're gonna need a total of 30 fragments uh, and, and obviously all the materials required to, to craft the item, but to complete the scroll, you're gonna need 30 of each fragment. So you're gonna need a total of 60 fragments. And just from claiming the rewards here from reaching 500 spins, you're gonna get a total of 30 fragments. So you're gonna to need to win another 30 fragments by spinning the Taish Wheel of Fortune. How hard it is, is it to win these fragments? So I in total have earned won so far four fragments and I've spun 120 times approximately or 119. So I'm gonna estimate that you win a fragment about once every 30 spins. This not, might not be an accurate number. It might be one in 25 or one in 35 or one in 20, but it's gonna be a rough approximation. It's gonna be pretty close to the actual value. One in 30 spins is gonna get you a scroll fragment. So if you wanna win 30 more fragments to complete the, the, the two scrolls, then you're gonna need to spin approximately 900 times, 30 fragments, 30 spins each fragment, that's 900 spins. So it's gonna be hard to achieve if we're not buying packs because you get 20 free spins per day from farming monsters, another like one or two free spins I think that Ebony just gives you and spending 10,000 gems a day, then you're gonna get about 30, 30 spins per day multiply it by seven or eight days or nine days but you're still gonna be far from the 500 spins total and very far from the 1000 or so spins you need to to earn the reward so just uh play in the game you're gonna reach about 250 spins and if you buy some packs you might reach 500 but it's gonna be harder to reach the the 1000 spins required to complete both items but it's still a really good event because you're getting good value for your gems and you're getting good rewards basically doing the same things you've always done killing monsters and and rallying bosses you're going to get 20 free spins and each spin here is going to give you items that are probably worth 50,000 gems so each day you're going to get items worth about 50,000 gems if you just kill monsters and do rallies and do vikings so in that sense Ebony is really helping out the free-to-play players and even the and even the players that are that are paying money since you're getting good rewards just just for killing monsters and buying a few packs. So it's a really good uh, really good event and everyone should uh, should try to complete as much as possible of it. And as far as um, spending gems on this, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before. It depends on your priorities. I have a lot of gems from from competition, server versus server war, and other rewards that I want a lot of gems, so I can use, I can spend it on this. If you're a beginning player and you haven't cultivated your general yet, you haven't unlocked your dragon, then those things are those things are more important. You need to have your generals cultivated 
and you need to have your dragon unlocked you need to have some specialities on your generals if you can and so on so th those are the high, highest priorities but you get you do get the free spins here and if you have extra gems to spare then go ahead and buy some lucky coins and, and spin the wheel because it's good rewards that's it for today guys uh, this is the new event it's a really cool event and uh, Evan and I are starting to give better rewards in, the, in their events so it's a nice change from Ebony and uh, do kill some monsters kill rally some boss monsters each day and get those rewards um, have a good week everyone